An EAT, or Emergency Alert Test, will be sounding at 2.20 p.m. Eastern Time today on all TVs, radios, and cell phones. Let's discuss. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Coffee Rant with Dano, and today is going to be a big rant. If you have to hit pause on this video to get your coffee together, I completely understand. Uh, we got some interesting topics to discuss today. Uh, just out of saving the government shutdown, right, which, you know, I feel like some people have forgotten a lot of things that that was about. A lot of things that would have been disrupted, like our soldiers' paychecks and their families. I gotta tell you, it really makes me sick to think that that was on the line here. So it's been postponed for 45 days. Um, a lot of people are want wanting to know my feelings on that. It's It disgusts me, honestly. The fact that if this would have happened, they wouldn't have been getting their paychecks. With everything that's going on right now the you know the the looming wars everywhere with Russia and Ukraine and then we you know all all these things that we're hearing from overseas and different things which I'm not going to get into all of that stuff but if you if you watch the news you probably know right i mean there's things there's a lot of people out here with itchy trigger fingers and we always have to be prepared on these things we do this is that you know we don't discuss this as much on the channel here but it's important that we do know and one thing that is kind of alarming is this emergency alert test right i mean they can say oh it's just a test and yes it is but it's something that i i deem a little scary right i mean it is in a way and I'm just going to say right now, this is going to be a lengthy discussion. So again, if you have to hit pause to get your coffee, go ahead and do that now. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We're doing all these videos to try and help keep you in the know of everything. So I was surprised to find out how many people did not know about this coming. Uh, there were some people that were sending me some emails asking me to do a video. It's like, well, it's not really too much what I cover on the channel here. But in all actuality, it is. It really is. Because these things are important and you know who who do you who do you trust these days so the only thing that i i really get out of this is going to be another one of those tests right now they talk about seven tests in the past well i wonder if they're covering the accidental test in hawaii not that long ago where everybody was freaking out nobody was given warning right and i won't go into what those tests said what those things said and some people said that it could have been like a hacked message or stuff like that. You never really know these days. But I got to tell you, it is something that, you know, this kind of stuff. And I know people kind of, you know, some people could say one thing. Some people can say another. What we're going to do here today in this video is break down what this is. But we're going to go into something a little deeper than that here toward the end of this video. So I'm not going to go word for word on what they're We're just basically going to go over why this emergency test is and, and you know what i'll tell you what i'm gonna do you one better instead of going over all of this different jargon and stuff i want to start off with this uh quote because this is the thing that i really got out of this and i know it's down here a little bit okay why is the alert system being tested? Now, this is on CBS's web, CBS News website, okay? So, since 2015, FEMA has been required under federal law to test the integrated public alert and warning system at least once every three years. This is the seventh, though. Uh, whether it's one that was accidental, one that was not supposed to happen... You know, they're saying this is number seven. But anyway, and those tests can involve uh, emergency alert system, wireless alert system, and other alerts and warnings. Uh, Wednesday's test today, October 4th, 2023, uh, will evaluate the technology, the technological capabilities of the national alert system to reach and inform as many people as possible in case of a widespread emergency. A backup date of Wednesday, October 11th, will become the test date if other emergencies, like extreme weather, prevent it from going forward as planned on October 4th. Is that a date we need to be concerned with? October 11th, 
why even mention that? I mean, I understand if this goes wrong or if there's a weather event or something, that's what they're saying. That's what they're saying. I don't know. You know, the purpose of this channel, the sole purpose of what we do on here is being prepared for the future. Whether that's food, which is what we mostly cover, or other things. Is this something to be concerned about? This is a test. This is a test, but it's a test of some things that, you know, could happen in the future. And they go on to, here's the kicker here, okay? Now here's the darkness of it. So I'm just letting you know that now before I go into this. This is the dark of it all. And before I do, actually, sorry to hold the suspense. Get a drink of that coffee there. Okay, here we go. Uh, if at some point the time comes that we need to put a wireless emergency alert to the entire nation for some really serious catastrophic event, the ability to send out messages in little places, small countries, small counties, smaller geographic areas is not the same as having the capacity to distribute those messages across the entire system. Uh, so one of the reasons that you might do something like this is to test the technological limits of the system to make sure that it's available in that way. So th the question I have here is if you were to do this for a catastrophic event, is, is that, do, do you believe, and I'm not going to say, what well, I don't know whether I believe this or not, but it's just something you have to ask. If there's a catastrophic event, do I think that they're going to send a message? I hope they do. I hope they do, but wouldn't that create mass panic? Wouldn't that create mass... I mean, okay, well, here's a, uh, the moon's falling. You've got one hour. I mean, thanks for the notice. I'll start saying my prayers, call my family, all that stuff. Thanks for the notice. Right? Or we have a uh, war going on. If we have war going on and something bad happens, like, we going to get a message? Like, I just don't see us getting a message of something like that. Hopefully we do. Hopefully we do, and maybe there are people out there that are saying, no, if something like this happens, we need people to be able to prepare. If that is the truth, and that is the what's going on, and, and yes, it would be good. Hurry up and dig a hole. It's coming, right? I mean, if that's the case, I get it. I just, I don't know. I've kind of always thought that if something like this was to happen, we would never know. We would never know. I just, I, maybe times have changed, but I mean, let me know down in the comments. Is that, is that, is that just me? Is that how everybody saw it? I mean, I understand this is just a test, but you do have to ask these questions as you read some of these things. Um, the test could also help raise public awareness about what to do in a national emergency, similar to the ways in which running a fire drill inside an office building or a school helps familiarize people with the process of an evacuation. Okay, so first of all, if ever there's been a fire at a school or something, there's, despite knowing what to do, and of course you want to know what to do. You want to know how to get out of there, how to line up. No, no, no panic, right? You don't cause panic. Teachers are taught this. Principals are taught this. They, you know, there's a way to do it. However, and, and I don't know if there's ever been, I, I know there has been, but I, I've never experienced it myself, a big fire in a school where somebody has to evacuate. Now, I have uh, been in a situation in an apartment building where one of our uh, dryers caught fire. And somebody was running up and down the steps, knocking on the doors, fire, fire, you know, so we all ran out of the building. It was get out as fast as you can. Don't run people over. Make sure you make sure everybody's out of the building. Everybody, you know, made sure that everybody was out of the building. Everything went fine. But there wasn't the thought of let's organize. It was panic mode. Right. And, and the, the thing that I disagree with some of these these alert messages and everything I don't feel like they've done a very good job of putting the news out here that this is happening. I remember one time when this happened, I was driving and, you know, I, I didn't know, it, I didn't hear anything about it. 
I don't watch a lot of the news. Um, you know, what I get, I get either on my computer or my phone, and, and really that's limited. How much can we really trust, right? Now, even reading from CBS News website here, I gotta be honest, uh, you know, I'm just looking for the facts. All the different opinions and everything, I skip over because have your own opinion, right? Have your own opinions. Um, but this is something that a lot of you all wanted me to talk about today. Well, not today. I just chose to do it today because it's happening, right? This video will be out at 8.30 in the morning Eastern Time. This alarm will be going off at 2.20 Eastern Time. 2 p.m. 2.20 p.m. Eastern Time. So uh, if you happen to watch this video after that, we'll see what happens. We'll see what goes on. This October 11th thing is... I know it sounds like nothing, and they, they, they say this um, as a backup, but October 11th... I don't know. That just kind of rings with me. Like, I've never seen anything like that before, if there's extreme weather. I understand we're still in hurricane season, but chances are... Uh, I, I don't know. I don't want to speculate too much on that. We're just, I'm just kind of the messenger here. Uh, for those of you who do not know about this going on, this test will be going on on all TVs, cell phones, and radios. So if you are listening to your radio, if you have your phone in your pocket, uh, from what I understand, you can turn that off. Um, honestly, I wouldn't recommend it. I would keep it on. I keep it on. Um, you know, I understand with a lot of these different alerts, you can turn them off on your phone. Uh, yeah, I, I want to know if the sun's about to fall or other things, different war things, which, you know, like I said, I, I don't, I don't like going in too much of that kind of stuff. Uh, but it's stuff we have to pay attention to for sure. We have to pay attention to. There are a lot of people that are upset with us right now overseas and, you know, it's just, it's why we always talk about being prepared. Again, I'm trying to relate things and say things. Feel free to talk about what you want in the comments. Just please keep it PG-13. Do not cuss. No reason for curse words. Although this conversation probably does warrant that. Please don't use curse words and stuff like that. Keep it, um, keep it mellow. You know, uh, I told myself this morning, I was like, if I'm going to do this video, I don't want to get too frustrated. I'm already frustrated from what I heard about with what was going to happen if the government shut down on October 1st. It really disgusts me when they came out and said, it's a good thing that, that we're able to pay our soldiers. Okay, you mean our tax dollars weren't going to pay their paychecks? The people who we're going to need if everything hits the fan here? Our soldiers that are putting their lives on the line every day? And you're not going to, they're not going to get their money? I mean, and and not, and not just soldiers, you know, we're talking about farmers and loans and, and fire workers and, and just, just a whole slew of people that weren't going to get paid, that are working harder than, mm. it makes me sick, guys. It makes me sick. And to know that you, okay, you squandered this out for another 45 days. Get it right. Get it right. I, I mean, I'll tell you what. I mean, if I was president, I don't care. I, w I would make this gets done. This gets done. This is the most important thing to everybody and the American people. To, to say that, that this was saved for the people that are protecting the country, for the, that should have never been an issue, ever. That's number one. You get rid of your paycheck and make sure they get paid. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I, I've really, like, I, I had two things. This is what I wanted to focus on, but I'm still very upset about that that shutdown that could have happened. I did a little bit of research after I heard all this stuff, and it was like all of the different people, all of the workers and people that this would affect. And, and I knew that. We all do. But until it hits home, you don't you don't really think about it. You do. Right, if you have some family members like I do who are in the military, that that are literally could go to war at any moment and just have to do it, right? Oh boy, you know we talk about whirlwinds and hurricanes of events every day, guys. This is serious. This is serious because you're having this 
thing go on here. And, and it's all just, you know, maybe a coincidence, but, but the, <laughs> is it the whole thing, right? Of this and, and the shutdown that was about to happen, you're, you're happy that you're able to, to pay this, our soldiers to protect us. Makes me sick guys. It's ridiculous. And, and I understand, sure, they would have gotten back pay and all that stuff. But in a world where we can barely afford to freaking eat, I'm in these stores every day, as most of you know, and prices are insane. I get comments and emails from people every day by the, by the hundreds of people that can barely afford to eat. And, and you're excited that, that you were able to keep the paychecks coming to our soldiers who put their lives on every day. You don't mess that up. That stays no matter what. Our firefighters, our police officers, the people who are out there putting their lives on the line, they get paid. Bottom line. That's it. I, it made me sick hearing that that was even a, a thing. That they might not. <sighs> okay. Wasn't going to get too worked up over it, guys. But I'll tell you what. You know, I'm an emotional, passionate person. And I am a patriot. And it makes me sick to my stomach to hear some of these things. Now, I'm going to take another sip of coffee here. Which probably probably shouldn't. I probably should have just drank some orange juice or water this morning. But, anyway... Uh, we'll go into, um, they go on to say, when an alert comes in like this, it makes people ask, what is this? What am I doing here? And there's a natural process for people when it comes to warnings. Uh, we sometimes call it milling, where they have to kind of process it and make sense of what's going on and decide if they're going to do something. You know, what is this thing? Is it real? What is this? Oh, of course. Has anybody ever, has anybody out there ever seen the movie Idiocracy? If you've seen the movie Idiocracy, please let me know down in the comments. And are we heading toward this movie? I feel like this movie is where we are heading to. Like this is the most obvious thing ever. Of course, that's how it is. That's what we were just talking about. Like, no matter how you prepare or anything, like for uh, a fire in a building or an event or a catastrophic event, is this real? Is this happening? So you want to build trust by sending out, by proving to us that you can send out an alert all over the country. God forbid it's not a mistake alert. Because a mistake, like the one in Hawaii, got people diving into the ground. You can look that up. I'm not going to go into it. But that was that was hell on earth for all the Hawaiian people that dealt with that. And what they're dealing with now with everything else. And again, you can, if you don't know what happened, Google emergency alert Hawaii. And I'm sure it'll pop up. And this was a while ago. I think there was one in Guam too. Our military base in Guam. Ugh. Anyway, I mean, I know there's things that can happen. Computers get hacked, things like that. You know, I don't know, but it's just, it's just, this is something that I think people need to pay attention to. Now, uh, could I be blowing this part of it up a little bit? Um, I just want people to be aware. The way I look at it is if we talk about this like a serious issue, people will listen. Uh, goes on to say, exposure to an emergency alert test may prepare people to act quickly in the event of a real emergency. <sighs> That's been proven. Need I say Hawaii again? There's been other countries that have done this as well. There's been other countries where these things have been hacked and people think that the world's coming to an end. So, yeah. I guess, in a way, it's good to know these things. One, though, are they going to actually do this if something ever happens, creating mass panic? 
But, I mean, panicked or not, it would be good to know ahead of time, I guess. Give enough time to, 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 to kiss your wife, say a prayer, you know, I don't know. Whatever you deem having um, a good time in whatever amount of time that would be. But they're preparing for this. Just as much as we need to prepare ourselves in case something ever does happen, we have a little bit of a stockpile, at least of food, enough to get by. Buy fishing poles, get, uh, you know, hunting gear, you know. I mean, all these things we need to plan on for our future because of things like this. If we need to send these things out to the masses, then that should tell you, that should tell all of us that we need to be prepared ourselves to be able to, to prepare ourselves for the future and to be able to protect our family and and so on, whatever you deem necessary. Uh, this will be the final thing I read from this because it is making me more disgusted every little bit we go here. Uh, warning systems and alert systems, they get you started. Uh, trainer, who is this guy talking about this? He's the one mentioning this. Uh, T-R-A-I-N-O-R is his last name. Uh, but there's a human decision process, and if it's the first time you've ever seen one in a real event, it's going to take you longer to make sense of it and get the information you need and process it to be able to make decisions. They're really going on. He's really going on, or her, I'm not sure. Uh, let me see. Let me scroll back here to see if they describe who this person is. Um, it's really, a, okay. Uh... Yeah, if you want to read the article, it's on CBS News' website here. Um, huh. It doesn't really say. I'm trying to find this guy's name. Okay, so this is the guy who was talking to CBS News in this article. Found that out. Okay, Joseph Trainer, a core faculty member at the University of Delaware's Disaster Research Center. He studies the design of disaster warning systems and how they operate with a particular focus on mobile warning systems and smart warning systems. Trainer has worked with government agencies before in the U.S. and abroad to develop their emergency warning systems and procedures. So, I mean, I we, we knew that this was a guy heavily involved in this stuff. And the, the fact of the matter is, is that the process, okay, they're processing people to understand what's going on or, or, or making sure you understand the process. Trying to get people to, okay, so the next time this happens... In a way, I kind of feel like this isn't a good thing because you throw out all these tests and yeah, you need to make sure it works, I guess. But can't you just, you know, word of mouth and things travel very fast, especially on TV. I think on cell phones, you know, you put no action as required. Uh, the more and more you do tests like this. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's talk about this here for a second. You know how, like, on some channels, even, like, you know, you'll see the emergency alert systems that come up, like, once a week or once a day at a certain time. They used to do these, like, daily. Uh, it's an emergency broadcast test. Emergency alert broadcast. Okay? And then it, this is just a test. This is just a test. Beep, beep, beep. Just a test. I've been hearing that my whole life. Like, could you imagine hearing this is not a test? Uh, at that point, your brain is just going to be like, what? Like, you will hear that, okay? We've been hearing this for years. So I don't know if this is his philosophy in this to just put it out there so that you know, like, okay, when you don't see this. The problem is, I, if you only got to do this every year, it's not like the television system that's doing it like every week where you hear that beep, beep, you know, it all rings in your head. And then when you hear it's this is not a test, like, I, I think at that point, no matter how many times or how many things you say, you're, my brain's going into instant panic mode. Okay, like, okay, what is it? And then you don't know, you don't find out. One thing says one thing. 
are you given the information or this is not a test? Like, what do you do? Like a hurricane will be here in 10 seconds. Missiles coming in. Time to dive underground. Like, I, I don't know. And they don't talk about these things. I don't know if it's because they don't want to scare people, but you're scaring people by doing this and not really giving a very good explanation of why you are. You know, they say catastrophic events to, um, I mean, yeah, I guess if, uh, if we're heading toward a, a, a asteroid coming down and, uh, you know, another dinosaur event here or other things that seem more likely guys, I don't know. I don't know. You know, it's, it's going to be, uh, it's, we have to pay attention to all these things. Let me know your comments down below. Let us know what you think about this. Am I wrong? Am I right? Is it wrong to think this way? You know, I'm just giving my opinion of some things and relaying the message. My opinion of a couple things, obviously what I went on before, probably didn't need to add that to this video, but I wanted you guys to know how I felt. Did you know that your soldiers weren't going to be getting paid during this government shutdown? I, You know... And we know this happened a while back. It shouldn't be happening at all. It shouldn't be happening at all. And if it does happen, well, then then y'all don't get paid. Who's, who's writing the books and doing all this and paying everybody and distributing everybody's money through taxes and everything else to pay for these things? You don't get paid. And make sure that our soldiers are getting paid and our firefighters and our police officers and everybody that puts their life on the line. Anyway... Sorry, I know I went a little little off the deep end here on this, but I did want to discuss this emergency event that is happening here at 2.20 p.m. It is something that is going to affect every one of us, so it's something we can all relate to. If you happen to watch this video after that, make sure you leave your opinion on what you thought of it. Uh, it could just be nothing. Um, we'll have to, you know, pay attention. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. And this October 11th thing is just, uh, something that was supposed to happen if it couldn't happen on the 4th. So I don't know. It's weird that they would even say that until there was an accident of it not being able to go out. So, um, a lot of people do know about this going on. So I was happy to know that more people seem, more people seemed more in the know this time about this message coming out than they did, uh, the last time. Like a few years ago when everybody was freaking out. I knew about it and I was freaking out. Anyway, um, let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you all so much for watching today. Uh, we will be back in the stores tomorrow trying to help help find the best deals that we can to help save as much money. Start prepping, guys. People, people say if you're prepping now, it's too late. It's never too late. Buy up the sales as you see them. Make sure you stock up on some things, not just food, uh, other things, fishing gear, things, things that in case we have one of these catastrophic events, you're able to protect yourself and protect your family. You know, start start thinking that way, and, and every day is going to be a lot easier to make sure that you're able to do these things. Me and Jessica didn't used to call it prepping. We used to just call it having an overstock of food in case something bad happens, in case somebody gets sick or a family member, something happens. You know, it's a, it's a smart idea, no matter which way you look at it. If you can prepare even just a little, or a lot, prepare yourself. Prepare for whatever event ever comes across your way and make sure that you are paying attention to all the little things going on too so that we are all in the That's what's nice about what we do on the channel here. We are in real time every day to make sure that we are doing what we need to do to be prepared and protect our families. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.